Alright guys, what is going on? My name is Ollie Ward and welcome back to another Leeds United transfer news video. Today is Wednesday, Wednesday or Thursday? Today's Wednesday and we're back for more Leeds United transfer news. Before we get into this video guys, be sure to subscribe down below. We are a few subscribers of 3,000 300 subscribers so get subscribing down below right now also smash that like button while you are down there let's try and smash 90 likes on this video and also i am a finalist for the football content awards for the best young content creator okay that is a that is a mental achievement this is not even a year old channel yet and i'm already I'm already making moves. So if you could be so kind to either at the end of the video or pause this video right now after you've heard the instructions, click the link in the top of the description where it says vote for me, click on it, scroll down to best young content creator, click your boy Ollie Ward and then vote. And let me know when you're voting in the comments down below. Yeah, thank you for all your support. So go vote there. Let me know in the comments. Without further ado, let's get in to the Leeds United transfer news. <laughs> Quite a slow day at the office for Leeds United, but we do have a new transfer rumour coming up into the face of me. That sounds wrong. This transfer rumour is Daryl DK. He's a 21-year-old striker from the United States of America. That's Australian. 21-year-old American striker was on loan at Barnsley last season where they had a very good campaign. Obviously, they got to the playoffs somehow. They got to the semi-finals, unfortunately lost, but everyone wanted them to win. But yeah, he looked very good in this campaign. He played 19 games for Barnsley and got nine goals, which actually is a pretty good return. That's a goal every other game. If you want to put that to perspective, that same season, as you know, the season before, where Leeds United got promoted, Bamford played 45 games and got 16 goals. Okay, so you know what? He's, he looks like quite the character. For a 21-year-old, who says no? Probably Leeds. Probably Leeds will say no, but it's fine. We want him. He's 21, right? He's American. He's big. He's six foot two. He's going to be this big new Lukaku-esque striker that I think Bielsa wants. I thought Bamford was that type of big striker, but we're watching him against Everton, against Crewe. He's got a bit of pace to him, a bit of skill. Patrick Bamford. I know, we are talking about Patrick Bamford. I think this is a no-brainer. I watched him play for Barnsley and I thought he was a fantastic striker. I'm surprised no one else is too keen, but I say that West Brom and us are battling for his signature. But we could have an advantage with the 49ers being partnered with Leeds United. They say they can get their, their bit in this deal. I do believe it would be a loan deal. And Victor Orta has come out and said Leeds United do want to get a loan deal in. Is this to do with... With Daryl Dyke. Daryl Dyke. Daryl DK. Apologies. I believe Daryl DK will be brilliant in the Leeds United formation. You know, feeding the ball into his feet, putting out to Rafinha, putting out to Harrison, then getting in the box for the goals. People will say this isn't happening because Bielsa said if it doesn't affect the starting 11, he doesn't want it. But I think it does. It was along them lines anyway. Not exact. Don't take that. He said something like that. I think this will affect the squad. I think Bamford sometimes needs to come off. And when you look at our bench, Tyler Roberts, Helder Costa, I'm not looking to them players as impact subs. I've said it for the past few seasons now. So having Daryl DK on the bench just changes up a bit, doesn't it? The defenders will get a bit scared. He'll be a big six foot two man in the box they have to defend after Bamford's done his 70 odd minutes of running. Bring this guy on. You know what? That could work. I personally would love to see him at the club. Let's hope we can get a loan to buy because you know the amount of times I fell in love with loan players and they've just gone back to their clubs. I love Ben White, okay? I love him. I love him. I still love him. But yeah, I'll keep you guys up to date on this transfer and let's hope we can get this one done. I'd like to see this. The next transfer we are going to talk about is Leo Kielder. He is the Celtic centre-back for the under-23s. It looks like that's all but done now. He has been left out of Celtic's Europa League qualification squad, which looks like he will be coming to the Leeds United. I personally think this is a good signing from Celtic. He plays a bit like Charlie Cresswell. I watched the highlights of him on YouTube. I'd watch that, a very decent little signing we are making. He also reminds me of Vestergaard, former Southampton, now Leicester man. Yeah, big, he's about six foot something, just gets into tackles. That's exactly what you want to see from a Leeds United centre-back. But like I said, that looks all but done, that transfer. He does look a very good player. Uh, and maybe we'll see a couple of appearances on the bench for him this season. But I do believe he'll go straight into the under-23 squad. Playing alongside Charlie Cresswell, which is decent, okay? We're getting another signing in for the future. But how much is it for the future? Sometimes you've got to look now at the present, what we have right now. 
You know, it's, it's okay building for the future, but sometimes you've yeah, got to look at your squad now and go, maybe we need to improve this before we focus on the future, if you understand. To do with transfers, that's mainly all I can really talk about. Leeds are in for a striker, and hopefully they're getting in a centre-back for the under-23s. I do want to talk about the crew game last night, and obviously our upcoming fixture against Burnley on Sunday. I thought the crew game last night, I didn't watch it, but for 50-60 minutes, we didn't create too much, apart from that Calvin Phillips header. I did watch the highlights, watched a bit of a stream. It was, it was all a bit dodgy. We're in 2021, and we can't even watch Leeds play football. Like, that's how it's getting. I don't know, but I thought we didn't play brilliant in the first half. And the thing is, we played a very, very strong squad. Everyone looked at that on Twitter and Instagram and went, yeah, we want a cup run this year. And of course we want a cup run. Like, who doesn't want a cup run? In previous years, Bielsa's just put out a squad he probably knows is going to lose. This time, there was likes of Rodrigo, uh, Harrison, Phillips. You know, these were good players in the squad. I don't think we were entirely convincing. And then Mateus Click came on, Bamford came on. We got a few of the big guns to come on, but it's against Crew, And that's no offense to Crew because Crew are a decent little side but we should be beating these teams. As you saw Norwich beat Bournemouth 6-0. Norwich are a Premier League team, Bournemouth a championship. We're Premier League, they're League One. We should be smashing these like 3-4, at least 5-0 or something like that. And like I said, if we put out the under 23s, fair enough, it would have been more of an even game, but we put out a very strong squad. I wouldn't even mind going out with that squad on like a Saturday, a Premier League fixture. That's how good our squad was against Crew. The thing is, like I said, we are going in for a striker, Daryl DK, but is that really what we need right now? Bamford's turned into a new beast this season. Season. We're seeing the new pace from him against Everton. We saw that against Crew. He came on and got a couple of assists. You know, he's looking very good. Maybe we need a central midfielder, a winger. I, I don't know about the central midfielder because a fit for sure, I would definitely take. He looked good last night, played an hour of football. He did look very good. A winger, Ian Pervader, is now gone to Blackburn for a season long loan. A bit of a falling out between him and Bielsa, me thinks. So, do we need another winger? Do you look at the bench and go, yeah, I want to bring on Helder Costa once Rafa's done his ACL? Do you know what I mean? I want something else there. I want a bit of sparkle. Yes, yeah, Somerville, but I don't see Bielsa playing Somerville too much. We had a game last night where Somerville could have played. And he didn't play him. You know, I do believe we need a winger and maybe a central midfielder. I'm personally happy with Forshaw. I wouldn't mind a striker. But I looked at that team last night and thought, come on, we're going to do these in. But it took us 75 minutes to actually get a goal. And that came from bench a bit. Like, we had more fitness to them. You know, the Leeds United fitness came into factor and we won the game. And I don't think the scoreline was did actually reflect the performance. I don't think we played too well. I'm going to hold my hands up. I'm going to look at the positives and say, look, we are into the next round. I'm happy with that. But yeah, it wasn't the best performance. Let's hope we can sort it out come Sunday. And that Sunday game is against Burnley. Burnley will be a tough fixture. I know it. They're a very strong squad. You know, they're a very physical squad as well. We'd like to get into the back of Leeds. We did beat them at uh, the back end of the last season 4-0. Rodrigo Brace, if you remember that one. I believe this game will be actually quite close. I don't believe we'll win the 4-0 like we did again. I'm actually going to say a 1-1 draw at the moment. They're a very physical side. And also, they have just signed Maxwell Corne. He was on uh, the Leeds shortlist of getting a left back before we got in junior Furpo, 15 million uh, to Burnley. That is their record signing, which is actually quite mad to say. 15 million, their record signing. I'm quite jealous. I like Maxwell Corner. I thought he was good, but I'm happy we've got Junior Furpo. Junior Furpo and Harrison, they're, they're getting a bit of a bromance at the moment. And yeah, I'm just quite excited for the Burnley game. Um, I'm happy Harrison, sorry, got uh, some goals under him last night against Crew. Bamford looks in good form. Goals are coming from all over the place at the moment. Obviously, Ayling got the goal against Man United. So yeah, Confident, but we'll just have to see what happens. I'm going to be going live for that game, okay? Yes, this is what I normally do if you are new around here. For the games, I sometimes either do a vlog, a match reaction, or I go live. I go live with my dad, okay? That'll be about quarter to do, 15 minutes before kickoff. Go live, a live watch along, watch it with you guys. And yeah, we should have a talk about the game. So I should see you lot there Sunday, 1.45. So guys, I hope you did enjoy the Leeds United news. Not too much news, but just a bit of a catch up to do with Leeds United. Obviously, in pervade is gone. We're in for a striker. A centre-back's coming in. The crew game, Burnley, all that good stuff. If you didn't enjoy, like I said, be sure to subscribe down below. Not too far away from 3,300 subscribers, which is mental, by the way. Also, can we smash 90 likes on this video? And remember, after this video has finished, if you haven't already, Go vote for me in the Football Content Awards. I'm excited. Voting ends quite soon, so get your votes in now. And yeah, I've been Ollie Ward. You guys have been excellent, and I'll catch you next time. Cheery. My hair's awful, I know. Oh. Yeah.